What is up, everybody? My name's Tony 2.0, and welcome to my first STX gameplay commentary. You guys have seen my first impression, you guys have seen that first flawless that I put up, and now we're actually going to talk about a game as it's going through. I got a few people to actually go purchase this game so that I had a group of guys that we can play with. And in this match, you'll see I got my boy uh, Denial, my boy Swayze, and... My boy Dark Enforcer. We were having a blast. We all four got on the team, uh, on the same team, a couple times that night, and basically we had our way with these dudes. Um, this game is, I think, ends up twenty-seven and seven. Um, it doesn't count assists or caps, but we pretty much controlled the pace of this game from the get-go. For you guys that haven't seen the gameplays or not yet this game is so good it's so fun to play there is a lot of little buggy issues but it's well worth you checking out seriously um and you'll see i i get down and just man i'm just running over fools our objective this night was i wanted to beat my top score that i have listed so far and um so far i have i think 28 kills is my top so I know that doesn't sound like a whole lot in like Call of Duty terms, but without kill streaks, just gun on gun, I thought it was a pretty good, pretty good score. Twenty-seven and seven, doing pretty well. I usually just smashing the 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 leaderboards in this game. Already off to a good start. You can see me at four and zero, oh, and this game really focuses on the flanking aspect of a shooter. This, that dude was just, what are you doing? You're not shooting at anybody. What are you, you're not even looking at anybody. One of the things with this game is the spawns are pretty set. Now, you can influence them, and there are some alt spawns to, to where you come up. But as you can see right there, that guy spawned on his teammate, which is possible. It's very similar to um, uh, Battlefield 3, where you can spawn on your teammate. Look at, man, I'm just wrecking these kids. You can pretty much tell where they're going to be coming from at any given time. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to be able to just pin them down into their spawn the whole time. It just doesn't work like that. Oh, my God. I, look, I'm sending the dogs out. I get one, and then I think the second guy gets me here. They start throwing... Uh, I'm all out of ammo, and so I'm <laughs> I'm stuck, and I tried, to, I tried to move, and I ended up jumping over that box. You can't really pin them in, you see, because all four or five of them show up, and there's just no way that you can hold them off. This game is just not set up for you to be able to wreck like four or five in one clip, because it actually takes a few bullets to be able... Look at that dog. Go get him, puppy. It actually takes a few bullets for you to get them down. You know, it's not two shots and the guy's dead on you or anything like that. As you go through here, you'll see... Um, what I just walked by where it said chainsaw there, those are the special pickups, the uh, the the big weapons or kill streak. I, I, you can't really call them kill streak. They're like boost weapons. There is a few of them around, and most of the time in this match, I'm actually I keep running by the. Oh look at this! I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I keep running by the chainsaw. I just don't want that to happen. I just, I, I, I kept, you'll see, I'll, I'll be running through the middle, and every time I run into that, that chainsaw, and I'm looking for a minigun. That's what I really want. We have really developed quite a fondness for this game, especially Denial and I. Um, it, like I said, it is just a fun time to play, and that is really all you need to do for me as far as a video game goes. Look at this guy with the chainsaw. Look at this guy with the chainsaw. The dude messed me up. I love some of the actions. I don't know if I got any of the executions in this match, but we'll see. As we go through this playthrough, you can see that there is a respawn timer. I don't think it gets any longer or shorter depending on like how much you die or anything like that. But there is a respawn timer. You can actually select if you want to spawn back in the spawn or spawn on a teammate. Um... Which is kind of a cool thing. You see there, I'm, I'm stuck. I just can't find anything with the chainsaw. Through this 
playthrough, I'm telling the guys, I says, okay, let's just, um, you know, keep them off of the hot zone. We are playing hot zone, which is basically like drop zone without the care packages. Uh, you get a certain amount of points per how many teammates you have on that location. I'm telling him, I says, I'm, I'm going for, for my kill streak, uh, I'm going for my kill record, so just please don't, uh, you know, don't, oh god, look at, that was a bad play on my part. I was like, don't don't push the uh, the hot zone too much because I, I want to get you know the full time limit here and just kill whore a little bit. I know it sounds stupid, but I'm pushing. I want to drop like the first 50 on STX that's put on YouTube. I already got the first flawless posted. Nobody can take that away from me, right? So might as well push for that for those first 50. I don't think it's <laughs> I don't think that it's even humanly possible to pick up like a hundred kill game in here, but I'm gonna sure as shit do the best that I can. You can see uh, Denial back there was using that minigun, uh, which is another one of those buffed up guns, uh, weapons, special things you can get. There's also an airdrop and a sniper rifle. The sniper rifle is pretty cool. Um, I don't really like the ACOG scope when you're aimed in. It's something that you can actually add on to all of your all the guns that you can select as well i don't really like it i guess it's just the feel for me it, it, you guys just have to play it to really be able to see what this game is like as you can see most of my kills and most of the success i find in this game is when i catch them a little off guard and i'm using those flanking routes we have this game so much in tow and locked down, I don't even have to worry about jumping on the objective. I think these games run, I think there's like a 10 minute timer, but I, I'm just not sure about it. I, I just don't pay that much of attention. And normally most games are only about four to six minutes, which makes for great gameplays. See, stupid chainsaw. Makes for great gameplays to use on YouTube. If you decide to pick this game up, one of the things I will tell you, and, and Swayze can attest to this, it takes a lot of getting used to. It's not Call of Duty. It's not even Gears of War. What you have to understand is they put a premium on the gun skills. So, when you're getting into a gunfight, and if you watch some of the ones that I get into, it is imperative that you shoot top mass look at this chainsaw guy just wrecked me again you want to go chest or headshot headshot can be a four to five bullet kill if you're on it just right you can see i'm shooting from the hip quite a bit when i'm at close range and that's just because i am using that red dot i prefer the red dot over anything else but, you know, it's really not bad if you're just using the regular crosshairs, too. You, the enemy is just spawned all over here, and I'm trying to pick them all off. It is not as easy to pick up kills in this game, really. I mean, you have to work for it. And the cover system kind of plays into that. I can see them all spawning, but I can't just two-shot them and then they're down. I actually have to play a little more tactical. And that's what I like. I, I don't ever really feel cheated out of a kill. Now, things like the minigun really, really can be a little overpowered. The airstrike is so kind of difficult to use. I think I've had six of them and I only got one kill with it. So that's not bad at all. The dogs, I don't really know like a good way to use them yet. I just haven't perfected it yet. I'm getting a little better, and I really have to remember, and you can see through here, I'm not really getting my active skill off um, at all. That are the, th Those things that I just listed are what I'm working on. I want to learn how to use the dogs. I want to remember that I do have an active skill, and the active skill is similar to like Crisis. You can run in, uh, click up on your D-pad, and it will turn on this skill that you can select. The skill that I have is Magnum, which just increases my bullet strength a little. There's other things that can help increase your armor. They can point people out. Lots of things. You see this. Look at this. I had the whole team there, and, and Denial's jackass ran in and took them all from me. 
I love the little kill thing too, where it's like crushed, annihilated, uh, emotionally neglected. I love little things like that. I, the attention to detail in this game was absolutely fantastic. You can see I'm using the AK-47 here, and even at range, it's really you have to be skillful with the guns. You you can see I'm trying to use the dogs there, and uh, Denial's dog got him, but. It's something that you guys honestly need to go check out. It's worth your time. It's honestly for 15 bucks. If you got a couple hours out of it, you really, really would enjoy it. Look me up on Xbox. Send me an invite. Send me a request. I'm down to play this game pretty much whenever. In fact, I'm getting off right now to go and play Special Forces Team X. Again, final score, 27-7. and seven. Pretty good day. Let everybody in the lobby. I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. If you like it, please click that like button for me. If you're new around here, click the subscribe button. I'll have plenty more of this Special Forces stuff going up. I will catch you guys next time. Peace!